Hey Thinksters and welcome to this video. In this video I want to welcome our new Thinkster freelancer student Aris Tarkus and I, I probably read this uh, wrong so sorry about that. I have really checked the, the web but I, but I didn't find a good way to pronounce this uh, name so I just call you Star. So welcome Star to the Python freelancer course. So today today I thought it would be uh, nice to share like an, an, an interesting new framework tip with you that I think would be a good idea to specialize in in Python. I mean it's just, uh, just an idea you can take it as that a uh, quick quick idea to to uh, niche down because I think ni finding your niche is very critical for your uh, success as a freelance developer you need to position yourself in the marketplace you need to uh, like reserve this spot in the market in the customer mind where the customer associates this particular niche with you so each time he has a problem in this area in this niche area um, he automatically thinks uh, thinks of you and uh, I think that doing this positioning right means like um, 2x 3x your income so you if you if you if you find a good way to position yourself in the marketplace you will earn more and uh, you will have a uh, a much easier job um, finding new clients. Okay, so what is Python Dash? Python Dash is a new framework. Actually, we 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 are currently in the process of writing a, a book about uh, Python Dash with no starch. Uh, it's a new framework th that allows you to create interactive um, and visually appealing dashboard applications, and it's pretty easy to use actually i think even as a python beginner so we have one i have one one python um uh, freelancer student in our course and um she's actually now a co-author with the python dash book as well and uh, she uh, has created this beautiful um, dashboard, wealth dashboard dot app. You can find it online, so it's like no secret. It's it's on, available online, so you can check it out. For example, so let's open a shell. Uh, here you see the the dashboard. Uh, it's very beautifully done. You can see uh, you see uh, there's your asset allocation. You can set the cash percentage, for example, of your asset allocation. Then it dynamically um, adapts the asset allocation, and it also like creates dynamically creates this graph. For example, we can now see if we start with ten thousand US dollar, we um, uh, invest according to this asset allocation for fourteen years, or say for twenty years, and we start with two thousand with the year two thousand. Then we obtain uh, portfolio results of twenty-four thousand eight hundred eighty-four dollars, and so on. Yeah, so you can play. It's an interactive dash dashboard application. Very easy to program. Uh, if you know Python already, it's uh, it's like it's it's um, it's very easy to to create your first apps, and you can create this visually appealing applications, and clients will just love you for this. And I think that like the um, return on invested time is really massive here because you can with relatively little time you can create stunning dashboard applications stunning results for your clients and, and your clients will yeah as I said love you for it and hire you again and again to solve them some problems repeatedly and it also like for them it may seem may look very complicated but for you you can set up such an application in uh, if you are like if you have niche down if you have really focused on this and you have created say 20, 30, 40 dashboard apps already, then you can set up this application in uh, 20, 30 minutes or so. Of course, initially it takes, it takes you hours and hours and hours, uh, but over time, like the, the time you need to create this application uh, really um, decreases a lot. So I think this is a good good niche idea. Uh, it's not the only niche idea at all. I mean, there are millions of niche ideas, but I think it's important to think in terms of what niche will I uh, am I going to dominate in the freelance developer overall big market? Because there's no there, there's no downside and only upside in specializing on a certain niche. So there's no downside because um, even if the niche is very small, say only 10 big clients per year or so, um, you as a freelance developer um, cannot scale into this niche anyway because you cannot scale your time. So you can just, I mean, um, even if the niche is very small and you dominate the niche, there's no scaling problem. Yeah. So if the niche is smaller, this only means that you are more protected and, then, and that you have a higher chance of joining the, say, the top 5% of people in this niche because there are just fewer. Maybe there are only 10 people in this niche. So of course you can join the top two top 20%, which is one of the top two guys in this small niche of 10 people. You can become this. It's very easy to do. Um, 
So, um, and there's no, as I said, there's no downside because uh, you cannot scale anyway as a freelance developer. You can later, if you want to scale your business, you can do it in, in with using the agency business model. You can hire other freelancers, get some client gigs, and 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 outsource outsource uh, outsource the gigs you get from the clients to the to the other freelancers. But then you can gradually increase your niche so that it fits your market. But uh, otherwise, there's no scalability problem for you as a freelance developer. So, um, um, yeah. You don't need to be in a big market, actually. So, so like in a big market, bro big broad market like Python would be too general because Python is still like the Python niche. They are, they are extremely strong developers who have decades of experience, but you can easily earn more than those developers by just improving on your positioning and improving over your marketing over time. And I think the Dash niche, niche is growing quickly and it's, it would be a good way for you as a freelance developer to position in. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for... Um, thanks for joining Arista. Thanks for joining Star <laughs> in the freelancer course. And yeah, see you in the course. Bye.